Hey guys, Storm's Ghost here. Thank you for joining me on another video. It's been a while. I've been pretty busy with work. I got a promotion, so that's been taking up a lot of my time. So I have been working off camera and been working on some terraforming, which isn't too exciting to make a video on. What I've been starting to plan out is lore-wise of Kingdoms of Colovia. As we've been building Runestone, I've been talking about a city that is part of the invasion that the uh, Clovian Empire first hit is Mosscrest. And I started building the outline of planning the city, or what used to be the city, now it's going to be all ruined. Taking inspiration from Artacraft and their ruined areas, and um, basically this is uh, what used to be House Merlin's main city, and but they're still alive and still thriving. They had ended up eventually bending the knee and keeping their titles and stuff, but they never really brought the city back to what it used to be so this is ruined a new city will be built somewhere else so the red area symbolizes the keep well inside the uh gray wall is the city walls and the little black ones are little black walls are like individual houses and buildings and obviously i already did all the uh paths all around this now, where this is in relation to Runestone, is Runestone right on over here. In the lore, the priest basically walks through the forest while trying to escape the army and comes on over here and basically discovers this um, holy sacred area. So Runestone was built up going then so root stones over here i just want to show you where that was in relation to the map and everything um so yeah a lot of my time has been spent basically terraforming these roads thanks to watching some of how filthy coin does it his roads on how it dry up on the middle and then like wet and muddy on the sides and stuff using that idea it basically went around the uh, city and making uh, different types of roads from the keep all the way down on how they used to take it into like one of the three gates into the city um and what i've learned from playing kingdom come deliverance as well is that there's a lot of random paths and stuff even if you go to like your local parks and stuff you'll see like different paths like where people tend to walk the most and that's pretty much what my idea on these are um if you wanted to go traveling from this side down here over to the other side over here you wouldn't just uh walk um necessarily all the way up to here then turn down and go all the way around you'd basically go the most direct route as possible so that's why there's several different paths that are very similar intersecting and stuff and yeah so that's what i've been using as inspiration and this hut while i was planning things out i found these little tents they're from a mod called trolls community which brings in like little twelve warriors, traders, stuff like that. It brings in more elements from the game. I'll probably try to post the picture up if I remember to. Um, but I'll definitely be uh, mentioning the mod in the description. But um, it's pretty cool. I saw this while outlining and exploring the area for Moss Quest, and I was like, oh, cool. This looks kind of like a trading caravan. So, if you're a survival player, you could even use this as like maybe a starter house or something. And um, what I'm gonna do in this video is turn this into a trading uh, caravan with uh, tents and stuff as you would expect in Conquest Reforged builders and stuff like that. So it's going to be much bigger than this, a few more tents, maybe some other things, carts and stuff around. So, without further ado, 
Let's get into the time lapse. Alright guys, and we are back from the time lapse. I hope you have enjoyed the, the small videos. There wasn't really much to show, just the tent part of the build. As you can see behind me, there's a little more details to it, as generally as I generally do with time lapse videos and uh, show around. So taking inspiration from Filthy Coins Path and uh, Artacraft. I did this pathway up and as I showed on the map it goes all the way around the town of uh, what used to be the town of Mosscrest. So here's a little more detail of the uh, build. We have some elven archers here in red who are protecting the the uh, encampment. It's an elven trade trading uh, merchant camp. So there's one main merchant and several people along with it, including guards, laborers, uh, basically other small merchants, stuff like that. Four tents and other things around that are needed. The first tent we are going into, you can see it's a quite improvement from what the mod uh, Falls community had is that we have several small beds brought to us by the Victory mod, a washing station and some storage in here. This is more for the laborers here. And then we have the uh, merchant's tent, the big tent. I don't know what else to really call it, but taking inspiration from the uh, Dark Elves and uh, Elder Scrolls, what I did was um, add these guys in, and we have our trader here, if we click on him, we'll go into trade, doesn't have any items to trade right now, but um, that will be coming up, and we have the wife of the trader, their bed is right back here, and decoration wise is once again a lot of the victory mod, which really brings the build to life and over here is another small bed for another family member for them which is uh, over by the kitchen which I'll show you later coming up over here we have a uh, yeah what's it called oh they're called um it's basically like a um Bard. They're Bard. I was thinking of Witcher series with Dandelion and that's where I got this skin from as I searched Bard and put that on an NPC and their job is to basically liven up the camp and bring up the morale and to entertain everyone there. Then in here is another laborer's tent and I was watching a lot of Skyrim videos and so I wanted to add in a Khajiit like character here and uh, so with them always being the merchants outside of the cities in Skyrim I would just want to pay homage to that game. 
coming in this last tent we have the guards tent there are four beds here for each of the guards and of course they'll do shifts and they have their own small storage area weapons and stuff that they will need if they need it so just outside the tent tent area on the way up we saw this ruined part of the build and, and in front of it is a uh, stable hand holding a giant pitchfork for feeding the horses and stuff but in here is the horses for the um for the merchant caravan and they have a donkey too so they use this um area that was all ruined down and destroyed from the invasion as a place to safely keep their horses corralled until it's time to let them out into the fields to graze. We are going to come back around this way, I think, and we are coming to one of the tradesmen of the uh, camp. We have a Fletcher, who, since the elves need bows and arrows a lot the Fletcher's job is to make the arrows and repair the bows so that's what he's here for and uh, he traveled with the camp and basically upkeeps the weapons and uh, coming around over here we have uh, one of the family members of the uh, merchant family here just uh, preparing uh, a deer or butcher coming in here we have a wash area where people can bathe and wash their clothes as you can see clothes hanging up to dry and it gives them a little bit of privacy and I just thought just having basically privacy screens would be pretty good um, breaking immersion of the thing i'm gonna fly up and i was watching some of the videos from um autocraft in their ruins and stuff and taking inspiration from that i built these two little mounds here of rubble that has all clapped in on itself as this was once as some sort of manor here which is why they have the kitchen back here. This is what's left of the fireplace and the dining area. As you can see, there's a small window here that's left over and a, uh, they set up a little bit of a protective tent for when they sit down and eat. And they have a guard guarding in the back of the uh, the back way and just to make sure no one sneaks in the camp or if they're watching the wrong way as food is being made I'm sure they're pretty hungry or something but yeah um, and the last character to show you is this uh, Hobbit or it is in Lord of the Rings they'd be called Hobbit if you play Dungeons and Dragons or Halflings or However you want to call them, that's my idea here, is that to have a halfling here, uh, basically who's one of the laborers and who is a chef. So that's what their job is, they're here to cook the food, and just as I was saying, but that was the last character, we have one more. We have a dwarf who is a uh, repair laborer who can basically fix the wagon tend to the wagons and stuff which is why he's holding on to a hammer as you can see the hammer was brought to you by the victory mod by filthy coin so be sure to go uh, download that and from what he said in his last stream they are, there's going to be a huge update coming to it so i'm very excited for it hopefully it's coming to 1.16 the version we're playing on here I'm so excited to see what he has come up with. Um, so be sure to support him on his uh, streams and, and downloading his victory mod and all his other projects he's doing too. He's a pretty busy guy, so be sure to also check out his YouTube channel. With that being said, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, 
leave a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe so then you can keep up to date with my newest videos. I know it's been a while, I've been pretty busy at work as I've just got a promotion and it's been taking up a lot more time than I'd like. And uh, leave a comment below of what you think of the camp. What, if I've missed any details you can think of or maybe any other things that could be added around it, just let me know in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.